Hey, what's up, guys? Right, we are back. Level up to seven. I guess we should take a look real quick of what those skill sets are. All right, that's the top of Strike Freedom Ship. Fires a guided laser from an orbiting satellite. Laser can be used aiming the stick after activation. Now that sounds pretty dope. Triple Crown. Bad man. Oh, it's a bad man only skill. I want to try that laser one. I'm confused. I don't get what the rating. Well, anyway. Well, we gotta continue the story. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, everyone, what's up? Hail. What do we do, Travis? The die trust thing again? Yeah, let's do it again. Travis strikes back digest. Do you believe in urban legends? Me, I love them. I'll read any book with urban legends in the title. Now for the segue. I got word from Kamui. Count Dracula is not only both real and alive, but he's a death ball collector too. How convenient. Off to Romania. Wow. And asking if anyone's seen Dracula as well, people just think I'm a tweaker and ignore me. Can't find him with just the weak ass info I have either. Wonder, I wandered around aimlessly and checked out this beer hall. A horse with a chip on his shoulder came up to me. What's this now? His eyes are all sparkly. Okay, this is definitely a guy who knows where Dracula is. Awesome. I decided to trust those sparkly eyes. Name was Epona. Let's go, Epona. Take me to Dracula's castle. Pona guided me to all sorts of old castles, but we didn't find shit. So I figured I might as well try a fortune teller. Okay. What a sketchy ass shop. Pick one from the gaggle of fortune tellers in the underground mall. Big guy with long hair. This dude is huge. Guy must be like seven feet tall. Name is Sundance. Sketchy ass name to boot. Sundance grabs some fresh coffee, spills it all over some paper. Coffee stain spreads on the paper. Sundance reads the stains. The Balbonia Castle. Says the count is in that castle. Jean and I get on Epona and head toward the castle. Apparently Epona and Jean don't get along so well. They fought the whole damn way. Anyway, we get to the castle, but as soon as we get here, Jean start or just bolts straight into the scary ass horror movie style castle. Wandering around inside looking for Jean. This place is probably haunted. I follow Jean into the great hall. Always breaking my balls, man. Hey now, there he is. Down Dracula, down on the floor. Something's up here. Guy with a katana is trying to slice the count's head off. Dude is fucked up. Can't abide my target getting jacked like that. Dude is all so determined. Comes flying at me. This could get crazy. Come on, bring it. But then, slices the Count's head clean fucking off. Sticks a hand into the Count's brain and pulls out a death ball. Throws it at me. 
Man, this is what you're looking for, right? I've got no beef with you. Take it. Shut up and leave. Go now, and I'll let you live. My name is Mondo Zappa. With the Federal Mimtic or Mimtic Ass Assassination Administration, Stoppelganger was a friendly crafted fake. The real one is still out there, somewhere. Tracking him down is our job. Dracula acquired tolerance to lighten a quid pro quo with the Reaper. Came Doppelganger able to live in the sunlight. That's all. No questions. I'm done here. I'm off to find the real Doppelganger. Oh, so we didn't even kill the real or the real one. Then he says he's in Central America. Anyway, I'll leave it to you. Travis, touchdown. There you go. He just ran his mouth and disappeared. Bondo. Pretty good. There are still a few out there. Whatever. I got what I came for. I'll have Bishop appraise it. Praise that shit. Approaching vanishing point. Be continued. Indeed, indeed. All right. So, so far we've collected three. So this is going to be our fourth, I believe. I think they said we only need to collect six. Yeah, one, two, three. So this is our fourth. Golden Dragon. I noticed we've been slightly progressing more like with the video game arcade style sort of thing. Looks like your old school Ron Atari sort of setup. There you go. There's your intro. Wonder what the game's going to have us do for this one. Huh? A tiny room where the hell is this 
Japan. I've seen this before. This is like Leji Matsumoto's manga, Otaku Oyadon. Very Yojohan, where the gods are said to live. Holy shit, this is awesome. Grandpa's words of wisdom. The world of Yojohan is deep. Time flows backwards. It takes time to get used to it. Rely on me. If you're in trouble, I'm good at navigating. I can help you out. That's the toilet. I guess we might as well save real quick. Oh, I guess not. Welcome to the world of GDGP. Your participation is appreciated. Can you make it to the pinnacle of racing G1? The road is long and hard. First, you must win the Visitor Cup. Go, oh, claim victory. Latest VR mission is on the table. World of Golden Dragon GP awaits. Drive in. Wait, so we're using VR to now do another VR? Talk about Inception. VRception. Yeah, see? A game inside the Bane. Game Bane? The game inside the Bane. Okay, so we have to play a visitor. Gotta win. Are we doing a racing game or something? There I am. Nice. All right. Fortunately, this is where I suck. I don't get this. I'm already losing. That's why I don't play racing games. Okay. Why did it change the shifting diagram? So I'll save again. <sighs> I mean, that boost in the beginning really help. And uh, work correctly. Oh. 
Okay. I feel like this is going to be the pattern. I'm going to lose it in the beginning. Then get it the second time or something. Oh, I guess I lose on purpose. Okay. On the eighth floor of Dragon Tower, first come, first serve, hurry up. Oh, and the undead monsters in Dragon Tower are hungry for your blood. Get rid of them. Work. I guess I was destined to lose. Let's try that new move. It takes a while to charge up there. Not super thrilled about it. I'm not a fan of that one move. It takes too much time to charge up. Here, we'll apply the, let's try the heavy chip. I love the the rip off Travis link. All right, said so we got a new skill so or skill chip. Double X chip. That's a special bomb that sends enemy up and knocks them away when hit. Ooh. Here, we'll try that one instead. as well heal there we go
Off you go. Like our bean katana is getting not as glitchy. Gearbox Z acquired, yeah. I like that one. That one was pretty straightforward. What's this, Gearbox Z? I guess I'm supposed to stick it on the VR thing then? No, I should have saved. Oh, good, I can. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Right, time to do this right. Read her right. Read your mother right. That was like some Mr. T song I remember watching a long time ago. Jesus. I already got gift box four now. There we go. G1 semi final. This and we'll win. Chance to fight the Smoking King. Wonder if we'll have to get another update or something. Something tells me we're going to lose this one automatically. Oh, no? Hmm. Guess we just did it wrong. happens if I say no? I figured. I knew it.
Oh, that's a new guy. <laughs> Zuckerbug. Nice. Nice reference. Oh, we got him. Beautiful. I see. So if I hit that, it causes it to explode quicker, and I don't, I don't think it didn't look like it hurt me. Not sure though. There we go, we got him. Nice. we got lucky going through the one maze i mean we have to backtrack the right side yep nope man all the way back to the beginning huh oh no can't go that way. Huh. Must have missed something then. Oh. Weird. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but okay.
Dang it, that was a waste. Get up. Okay, so that does so my so the bomb does not hurt me. Okay, that's good. So I can stay apparently stay in there and make it grow bigger apparently. Worried there. Ah, mid boss, Sheep Man Yellow. For you, a smoking king come back, just a passing assassin. Your fourth trial, punk. You know what makes a mid boss really terrifying? Color swapping. Die. I love that. That's a good combo. Tad bit damaged. Nice. Perfect. Walked right into that one, and I will take it. That worked out. Stick on this sucker and I should be able to beat the next one. We got the double Z your box.
you win. Figured we have to do one more. I can slash map is pretty simple, but I guess you get used to it. Let's kick some more ass. I'm glad that it's simple. That other one with the elevators in the mansion was annoying. I see the more higher your beam charge level is the cure the beam blade I guess is what that is as well yeah because it's level two now and it's more not, not as glitchy really worked. Let's plant a heal circle here. good combo with uh, the stun grenades bomb thing and then just whap the shit out of it
And there we are. I got a new chip. Hooray! Got our last gear box. Esports gaming. Travis strikes back. But it's like a racing game. Well, this part of it is. It's an interesting... It's not my favorite. Everyone says this is the weakest of the series, which I can kind of see why. I know it's not my favorite cup of tea compared to the other ones. Smoking King, the Dem Zam Tiger is going to scream to go. <laughs> Screaming to go. Shift box is insane. Yep. Whooped us. Can't nitro anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, we're about to do that again. Bye, Luigi Dance. You're anonymous. It's Happy New Year's, Greg. Happy New Year. Getting a. Uh, once we get that new PC, maybe I'll buy Baldur's Gate 3 and we'll play that one. go and to destroy never heard of that team team it's my beloved hometown you're a tough one i can sense your bloodlust you're not from the surface are you bingo i'm more of an underground guy so you're from the hood too huh 2024 already insane i'm sure I had in a racing accident, however, it wasn't an accident. It was a carefully planned murder. Oh. Well, you finally found the killer. It was a human summit afternoon. Look, is this going to be a long story? Sorry, I'll get, get really into stories of the old days. Shall we change the venue? Is that even possible? We're in the middle of a race. I, too, live inside a game. I understand what's inside the hearts and minds of gamers. Everyone's hoping for some action. I assume they're about fed up by now since they didn't buy this game for the racing, right? Hmm, you think so? I mean, it's no skin off my ass, but if you don't mind, I appreciate it. All right, then, follow me. I actually didn't mind the racing game. So far, the, the most annoying mission was the, the mansion one. I did not like that one. Yes. Let's fight. 
Is this one of those legendary public bathrooms? Yeah. My own communal bath. Isn't the view amazing? It's in scenery, man. It's like I've got the world in my hands. Luxury, greed, and riches have limits. This bath is sort of a farewell to all that. Nice line reading there, like a famous quote or something. Listen, racer, standing on the borderline itself is how you feel the world of true speed. If you're not standing on that line, then you're no racer, just some guy. Hold up, I can't fight a racer. Don't misunderstand, tough guy. From here on out, I'm a bodyguard. Who's bodyguard? The champion, Smoking Kings' bodyguard. Sure, that'll do. Let's go, champ. Smoking Kings. Dang. Ouch. Away you go. Take this. Oh, that didn't stun him. Fuck. That didn't work either. Dang, he will not let us get close. That definitely works. Probably the best combo I can do. Ouch, that didn't work. Fudge. That's an awesome combo. Dude, I'm super happy with that combo. Damn it, we died. But I should have a continue. Yes. Man, we've all. We, every time it's been like at least two continue, or one continue I've had to use. Besides from like the very beginning. Because it's not as gruesome as the first and second one. We haven't really sliced anybody in half, which kind of defeats the purpose of what No More Heroes is, but they kind of got back into that in three, which I need to get to. Anybody new? Feel free to smash the subscribe and follow button, turn on notifications to get notified when I go live, and if you want to help support the channel, we've got locals, got memberships. And super chats.
full of grieve and ad greed and avarice. Usually a boss battle is full of all kinds of unfair tricks and attacks, but your attacks are full of holes. Like clean and fair and you'll lose. That's the code of the underground. I see. I guess it's time to turn a new leaf. Thank you, tough guy. Hold up, champ. The world is waiting for you. Someday the GDD... Oh my gosh. GDGP will get a sequel. Until then, you gotta keep being the champ, you know? I'm afraid I've reached my limits. <laughs> Try racing one more time and then decide whether or not that's true. It's not like you're running out of time. Travis Touchdown. You've got ways to go as a racer, but you're a true tough guy. Someday we will meet again. Let's ride. Go oh, easy on next time, you too. Goodbye, tough guy. Goodbye. All right, so that was the fourth death ball. Two more to go. I love Travis's portrait. <laughs> Very ballerina-esque. Just, ugh. A strange video game world it seems i'd been living in both the past and future japan for years the illusions was that i'd been there for three years or i'd been here for three years living here inside this game is one possible option I wonder what sort of life i'd live as a racer I'd like to see smoking king back when he was a sumo wrestler i miss that tiny crowded room it's filled with a kind of nostalgia dr juvenile Seems to have been greatly influenced by racing games. I, too, am a huge fan of the racing games imported from Japan. Juve has got pretty good taste in games. Or Juvie. Juvie! Wait. Take a piss. Probably do that myself here. Little break. Ooh. We got a fax. My name is Clark. I'm Dr. Juvenile's lover. Okay. What comes after clearing these games is nothing short of a tragedy for the entire human race. Oh, geez. I just pray that you don't end up becoming the one to pull the trigger on this tragedy. God bless America. So you've cleared the third game, simply knowing that following information puts your lives further in danger, so I don't want to tell you, but now I guess I have no choice. The military and the CIA were involved in the development of the Death Drive Mark II. Juvenile and I first met in the lab, barely 10 years old at the time. We were both orphans, and we were scouted by the development team after our hyperintelligence was noticed. Death Drive 2 was originally developed for a project to move people to Mars. This project, the glove would collect personal data and then send that data to a machine on Mars. Their device, sort of like a 3D printer, would create a clone of that person, thus populating the planet with human Martians. Okay. However, the CIA repurposed the technology for a different project in which they plan to create murder machines here on Earth. Ah, old government doing the same old shtick. Drones could be used to haul the printer to enemy territory and print out soldiers there. Then they could pull off everything from assassinations to full-on terrorism to their heart's content. Printers are terrifying, accurate, and can print up everything from humans to weapons. In order to stop this project from taking off, Juvenile planted bugs in the mother machine still in development, preventing it from working properly. Oh, so the more we play it, are we kind of... The more we play, the more we're fixing all the bugs. 
Now you can probably imagine just what will happen if you manage to clear all of these games. That's right, the mother machine lying dormant underneath CIA HQ will reset and the CIA will revive the Death Drive project. Please, I beg of you, stop and turn back now. God bless America. It seems that you really have no intention of stopping. Since implementing the bugs, Juvenile and I have been on the run for close to 30 years, but the time to finish this once and for all may be near. We will begin making our own preparations. However, if you two are prepared to see this game of death all the way through to the end, then in order to make sure you don't make the wrong final choice, I've decided to let you in on the secret of the machine that we've been playing. The controllers for the machine are loaded with a horrible gimmick. They read the player's personal data at the DNA level and create clones with increased ability and powers, for the purpose of creating powerful clone soldiers. These clone soldiers are installed with a special AI, turning them into murderous weapons. If the hardware could be sold all over the world, then data could also be gathered from around the globe. Juvenile and I have made every effort possible to prevent this. So her hometown is the Ukraine. <laughs> Gosh. Lost her parents to the after effects of the Chernobyl disaster and saw her hopes and dreams destroyed by the tyranny of the government. Government. Travis, an extraordinary assassin and a genius gamer. I've heard that you're a lazy, selfish, overly opinionated fucking otaku. Know what, baby? But also that you're just that you're just kind of cats and a man of your world. This short letter contains our desperate prayers. I just hope it reaches you somehow. God bless America. Oh, get more info on what's all up. So I'll be right back and then we will uh, continue apparently giving what the CIA wants, but we don't care. Just as long as we have a good fight, right? All right, Goku style. Be right back.
All right, I live. Death ball. Uh-oh, it looks like, collect them all. It looks like, I mean, we need six, so, but if they're following the Dragon Ball Z stuff, it's seven that we need. There is one circle that's left. It's not numbered, but it's there. Comwee's calling. Ignore that dickhead. Hello? Like now? I guess. Yeah. You're going? Yeah. Gave up on the digest. We're doing it old school DOS v ADV style. How cool is that? Just keep it simple. I hate <laughs> Kamui. Fat boy burger. Thanks for coming all the way here. The East Coast, right? We're pretty damn far from Texas. We'll be getting the check. Uh, whatever you like. Dean, you want something? I hate this guy, so I'll be outside. Bring me a cherry shake. I totally can't trust this guy. Cats never lie, you know. I'll have a garlic fat boy burger. Fries and a... Jereen shake. Eat Jereen? How refined. I'll go get it. Serious man, what's your name, buddy? Who the hell are you? Nobody you know, just a Japanese guy passing by. Oh, so, what do you want? Hey now, don't get so defensive. How do you know that man? In Kamui? Just some dude. Friend? Nope. Okay then, be careful. That man is dangerous. I figured that much. I bet you did. Your bloodlust is pretty hardcore, like nothing I've seen. Yours is pretty obvious, too. You're a detective, right? Maybe. Japan, I would have shot you in the face. <laughs> oh my gosh. I would have killed your ass first. Don't get killed by Kamui. Don't get killed by America. Thanks for the warning. My goodness gracious. Dude, with all the localization, that's hilarious that there's a, a line about localization. You feel me? No problem. I'm an ADV man myself. Keep it short. Come to Tokyo's O Ward. There's trouble. Got it. I'll go help out. What sort of trouble anyway? Complicated. Is that okay? I'll give you one line. You and I lived in Zero Ward. There's a death ball there. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> Where are we going? The airport, duh. About your passport. You even have to ask? At home. Go back home. Passport's expired. God, you're such a loser. <laughs> Well, how long will we have to wait? No idea. It's almost summer vacation. All the kids are getting their passports. Hey, you're up. Finally go to Japan. Japanese airline food is delicious. They're paying for you. I like how they're kind of speeding it up. Let's get to the maid cafe. I want to see some maids. Or maids, I need some figurines. After that, we'll see some maids. We need to go to the O Ward.
What a comfy ass hotel. That was the best REM sleep ever. Doo 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 doo. Oh Lord. Called the 25th Ward Station. What's that mean? Who knows? This town reeks of death. Are you Travis here for your appointment? I don't have an appointment, but I am Travis. You hurry up and get on. I'll take you. Where? The appointed location. We'll see. Jean, get on. What a cute kitty. Meow, meow. Sorry, I'm not feeling it right now. It talks. Just hurry up and go. Okay, fine. Her ex-boyfriend has it. The death ball. Oh, boy. We're supposed to ask all 3,000 residents who the ex-boyfriend is for the info of the ex-boyfriend, but I'll skip that for character limit reasons. Thanks. Appreciate the service. I'll take you there now. The kitties can stay here. We used to live? Oh my gosh. My home, Travis. From Mizawa. My first foreign guest. I'm glad you're here. You're like on the water. Ain't no mind to that. I'm what's called an observer. You're a creepy ass dude. What are we doing standing here talking? Please, this way. Did you just use magic? What the hell are you? Where we used to live, though my time with her was short. Feels like we spent decades together. She's something really special. Felt like it was the first time we met at the mall. It was crowded on Sundays among the crowd. Alone was colorless. Apparent, like she didn't really exist yet. Floated there. Knew that I'd be coming. Just as my own thing, I don't give a shit about your revolution. Is that so? Well, it's a shame it ended that way. What's with that past tense? That was what that was what juvenile had wanted. I guess this is why this ball is entrusted to you. Appear. Nope, that's not it. Did someone delete him? <laughs> Whatever. Got me a death ball. You're a Kamui. Kamui? You mean Kamui Uehara? The bud lust. It's abnormal. You're fucked up. You can't kill me with the gun. I'll take your head right off. Either way, I'm gonna kill my... What the hell is going on? This kid's dangerous. Lights out, punk. Okay. So I guess we threw the ball at him and knocked him out before he could self-delete. Oh, we suplexed him, apparently. He's gonna swim back to America? Oh my gosh. Be continued.
Killer Marathon. Well, let's kick some ass. Another co-op setting, huh? Under construction, are you blind? What it looks like when a location is being built in Unreal. So it's a work in progress, huh? Much of it is done. I have no idea. Go ask that woman, Dr. Juvenile. She's in. She's kind of moody. She had problems with the staff while making Killer Marathon. She started flipping over tables and stuff, made them redo the whole thing. <laughs> Extremely low key, yet delicate work. Get my ramen here. The thing is, is I want to know if that, if we were actually supposed to glitch like that. We actually did have a glitch happen in the game and I had to restart it. Bullshit. with the bad PC. We're getting one soon. Everything will be beautiful.
Oh, I didn't know if I was supposed to like go in there or not. Is that actually part of the game? Oh, huh. Copy of Killer Marathon I got wasn't just some pirated version. It was the Death Drive port of the legendary arcade game that started it all, created by John Winter himself. Apparently not finished. Dr. Juvenile must have created it by anal analyzing records and memories. I suddenly have flashbacks to when I was a kid happening upon that game. The light emanating from the creepily... Alluring vector graphics seem to pull me into another dimension. Wonder if Juvenile created the Death Drive Mark II specifically to facilitate this very experience. A final game. Ooh, we're winding down. I'm actually wondering how long Travis Strikes Back is. Hmm. Main story is only nine and a half hours. Ah. Well then. That, that's interesting. Some people apparently have beaten it in like 44 minutes. What? Lead edition is 10 hours. Oh wait. something apparently under the CIA a building the mother machine beneath the CIA headquarters have been connected to the brain of the recently dead legendary game creator John Winner ah what am I reading you are reading facts a fact sheets. We're learning about the story of the game. I guess the lore. Sending the blueprints for the DDD AAA. Look and think you'll understand just how massively tough an opponent we're up against. Here it is. Okay. Well, that was nice. Uh, so I guess we got to get on our bike then, right?
Hell's Chainsaw. <clears throat> Hell's Bales. Listen to this, Gene. About a guy. Hey, okay, what guy? A real asshole. <laughs> His name is Damon Ricciatiello. From Utop uh, Utopania? Yeah, those IT type dudes creep me out. A world of data with no actual substance. I mean, video games are just made up data too, but that's okay. But those have substance and emotion. IT was born from an aversion to the host, a tool of efficiency and consumption to destroy man. To get molested by an IT guy or something? That asshole has the death ball. I sense a connection. Oh my goodness. Take supplements. Soap is good enough for me. My musk is my cologne. <laughs> Nuts over supplements. Okay. Well, that was fun. A t shirt, mappy. Pretty cool. Real something. Name is Juliet Chesterfield. I work at Utopanina, Damien's Damien's Tertiary Secretary. You know what a tertiary secretary does. Call the CEO to wake him up. I check the traffic before he leaves. A real hassle. Not by the primary secretary's house. Then the CEO's. Even a bit of traffic, the primary secretary gets pissed off. And I clean the secretary's office, prepare the breakfast buffet. Welcome to the CEO. Deal with claims and complaints. Ah. All my videos. Pretty famous influencer. Ah. Digging up and living, live streaming old vector video games. Hey, that's me. Some guys were crap, or some games were crap. Some guys do. But I saw the future in those primary color blaze graphics. I became head of a huge vector game project. Really kicking ass. Company was young, so I kept climbing up the ladder. Since I was a kid, I dreamed of being a secretary. I requested that they make a Territory secretary position and now I'm in subordinate training But that man You noticed Namco's famous game Mappy on my shirt Travis touchdown. I know that guy Beat me in the Unreal Tournament finals. Never forget him. Back in the day. I was a pro gamer myself Man, I'm hungry Just got her little story Smell like blood. Mm. I 
96 hours on bike. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we got the information we needed. Are you fine? Okay. We win. You a model? You look like a cosplay, or are you today's DJ? <laughs> Whatever the fuck I might look like, I'm the guy looking for your death ball. Not a very warm welcome, huh? Get the hell out of here. Need to brush up on your manners, son. Just beating up a woman? Jeez. What a dick. She, see? She's the one at fault here, right? You aren't even worth killing. Feel the same pain she felt. Nice. This is gonna take a while to heal. Let's go, Gene. Piece of shit. There we go. We got justice for. We'll have my revenge. My goodness. Feel a chill. Oh. Final death balls in our hands. I kind of wish they would have incorporated like a little mini game or something during those cutscenes. Let's go. Now we got like super realistic. Dang, that's really hard to shoot sideways, getting them good shots in.
What? <laughs> what is going on? I love it. It is insane. My mind, my brain. Wow, we made a huge leap from the retro <laughs> to now. Huge A, triple A dark fantasy RPG, but I know this world, it's from a game I beat six years ago, Shadows of the Damned. The Underworld. Man, they are whooping me. Oh, come on. Missed all that. for that combo. Oh, nice. A uh, toilet. <laughs> toilet saved us.
Back when the big trend in games was super yoked muscle heads that dude rocked the racing jacket like no business. Very interesting. reason like this entire game makes me think of uh temple run i don't know why but it does Might have been a waste of that healing, but oh well. Probably like, I'm proud of that find, of that combo, because that's like really big heavy hitting, heavy hitting combo right there. And they hit me, so let them explode. How did I miss that? Are you kidding me? Here we go. Huzzah.
Oh yeah, I haven't checked any new like new skill sets, but I mean like that's just too good. Oh, and I guess we should tr see if we can level up. Oh yeah, easily. Ah, almost. All right, what new skill sets do we have? There was a capsule spewing gas in four directions, ignited to cause a huge explosion. Yeah. Then like a top while unleashing mobile rapid fire attacks. Ooh, sounds pretty good. Those are just bad man shit. Let's see. Replace the shining one with this one real quick. See, see if how that does. Like me that move. Takes a while to charge, but be nice. Lightning up. Their damned favorite, the Sisters Grimm. Never think they were sisters without being told these Reapers. Their names are Maris, Caroline, and Giltine Grimm. Somehow you're supposed to work the fa you're supposed to work the fact that they're sisters just by those names, which is kinda Ooh, mid boss. That sheep man pink. More like a magenta, but whatever.
Dude. Beautiful combo. up ted cruz when's the next podcast uh we're working on it for sure might be for sure i'll try to do something this week just trying to get into the back into the groove of things they are as they say why Oh, C R A Z Y, crazy. Yeah, trying to establish more guests, but I'll, I'll tr definitely want. I do want to do more solo shows. Well, I just need a. Those fuckheads. Was my dude that's garbage that they hit me right when i do my one of my moves and it just disappears Explosion combo I can do too. There, how's that? Got lucky, got a ramen shop. Give me your best ramen. You know what's funny? You're, you're gone, but I kept seeing your name and donation pop up every stream I watched the last few weeks. Wait, you know what's you're gone, but I kept seeing your names and donations pop up and literally, huh? Interesting. I'm not exactly sure what that. Oh, 
Oh boy. Is it because of my Twitch one? Oh, you saw my super chats to other shows. Yeah, that's because I was at home. Like, I was at my folks' house, but I don't have, like, any gaming or anything over there. Dude, get over here, you bird. Yeah, I try to... Try to help out when I can, for peeps. Well, that's gay. I got home uh, Saturday and I was gonna try to stream but Spectrum was being gay so then I streamed twice Sunday Sounds brutal you need a ha handheld Well I had my switch with me but I mean that was I, I was busy pretty much the, the whole time so We're not, we're not, we're slowly growing. We're not big yet where something like that would be like, eh. Will I take a hit on stuff? No. But then again, it doesn't, in the end, it doesn't matter. I would be blessed regardless. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Well, that failed miserably. Shit. Wow, they really fucked me up. Okay. Have some continues, but... Dude, that is so bullshit. And I did not... Fuck off. Loser. Well. We'll be getting a new DC. here coming up so that'll be good I did about that really key to proceed past this mark when the baby is hungry feed him a lock of strawberries
creepy and yet annoying. Come on, get... Fuck! Heal myself. Uh, oh, there's a card right there. We got to go back. Ugh. Well, at least it was just the one guy. Back to the crazy baby. Ramen, motherfucker. No save. George's guy probably had the biggest impact of all the. Uh, Hearing demons violently attacking the player while a harmonica is stuck in his throat. Oh my gosh. George was the weirdest character of all, making it hard to believe he was the first boss created. Weird shit, huh? Yeah, pretty weird. Oh my gosh, interrupted. Dude, come on. Dude, fuck those guys.
Jeez, how long is this one? We got a night guy. That's not good. And be like, hopefully we got a toilet or something we can save. wonder if we're at the boss finally looks like we are extras in the background not loading okay what up johnson fortunately we got one continue left so we got to do this gamer and a huge damned fan many playthroughs just three, but not being able to carry over weapons was always frustrating. Meant to set you back to basics. Oh, I'm not mad at that or anything. I always assumed there were probably memory issues and stuff, but if it ever it's a new port, I just hope that you're able to carry weapons over to the next playthrough, that's all. Yeah, I'll let the right people know. No, all right, that's enough small talk. All right, let's go. Ouch. Oh, come on, I was facing the wrong way. Fuck me. Oh, that's bullshit. He has his own twirl move. Ported out of it. That would have been dang it. Cool ass voice is watching over our battle. Give me the power to take down this badass assassin. Oh boy. Man, he knows how to teleport. That's gay.
damn it. Like near death, of course. Whoa! All right, man. We have another continue, so we should be fine. Still kind of gay, though. Took down all of our hit. Fuck. Come on. Whoa. Got him. That was close. Yeah, that was gonna be gonna be a terrible rank. Oh, somehow we have B. But we used two deaths. I don't get it. Whatever. Anyway. Or two continues. Fire up that big boner again. Sent to the fourth dimension. I'm in the deepest depths of prison. Where are you? I'll go save you. No. You'll be killed too. This place is the true hell. Don't give up, Garcia. Hey, assassin, take good care of my partner. Fuck off, Mr. Legendary Demon Hunter. I don't need no goddamn partner. You just... You have to just one thing to do, destroying that fourth dimension. Here we go. Crossbone. All right, that was the last one, I think, unless there's like a hidden seventh one. Wonder, not. We, I'm assuming we're gonna face juvenile, so we're over, kind of pushing the two-hour mark, but we'll see what happens. Something did actually happen. Well, if you read your facts, you would have known, but we read it. Oh my gosh, it's straight up like Dragon Ball Z.
the fake ball mixed in. I can't be bothered with that. All that, and she got resurrected. What? Well, yeah, it surprised the shit out of me. A dog, a fucking dog. That tiny ass little dog just appeared out of nowhere. Never forget what happened. That dog that showed up on the outside. It's, well, a little dog, but it turns out it was actually bad girl on the inside, or rather it was Charlotte. Either way, what I'm saying is my daughter apparently came back as a fucking dog. Why a dog and not a cat? That's not the goddamn point here. The right question would be how the hell I knew that dog was my daughter. Give a fuck if you're one of those weird-ass cat people. Anyway, I actually screamed out loud. I didn't raise no goddamn dog, Charlie. Once Charlotte became a dog, it was like she'd gone back to being a little kid again. It's called infantile regression, I think. I guess she understood who I was, and even though the Charlotte I know would never do this kind of thing, got all happy and wagged her tail. Right up to my legs, started making these weird dog sounds, then went and pissed all over the place. So happy she pissed herself. I was surprised, confused, and even somehow kind of nostalgic all at once. Basically, my emotions were all over the place. Then I started thinking about what I could do to undo this curse. That's when I was faced with a new problem to solve. Looks like I'm going to have to do some shit I'd rather not have to do again. So tell me, man, what the hell do I do now? Well, that's not my problem. Technically, she's back. But we will save that for another time. Catch you guys later. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. God bless. And yep, we're working on setting up podcast shows or just going to try to start doing them more often. Continue gaming. Till then, take care. Have a good night.